always wanted to make the Ziggy handling from the film Quantum Leap but I know it's going to be really challenging and if it's slightly wrong it's going to look a bit naff. Now I'd like to make it in Perspex or moulded in resin but I've gone for the 3D printing option because well that's a process I am more familiar with. Um, Perspex would be great but it would be learning something new and again I think it would be a complete disaster. So here, here I am designing it in Tinkercad. The blue blocks are where the Lego bricks are going to go. We're going to have clear Lego bricks with LEDs pushed through to light everything up. So exported it out of Tinkercad and then started printing just a very rough copy um, of, of that model. Um, nothing too high quality, just a very quick and dirty print. Uh, just to see what it looks like and you know when it was uh, nearing completion I could see that it was heading in the right direction and you can see how it looked um, when it came off so you can see the alcoves where the clear Lego bricks are going to go and holes for the wires and then came the task of um, painting it and I just grabbed some ordinary acrylics and started um, painting and there's so many different sides and angles to paint and then I varnished it after and the finished product actually looked really good it's described as a gummy berry a gummy bear uh, hand link because that was referenced in one of the episodes and it's so true it does look like it's made out of sweets so let's get wiring what runs it is a little micro bit and I've had a bit of an issue because I want six LEDs running off three pins randomly but I managed to do it and coded a simple program that um, will flash, thing, uh, flash the LEDs intermittently randomly and uh, with pauses, random pauses in between and there's a copy of the hex file for download in the description but putting two in and looking at the Lego bricks, I got very excited because I could see that it was actually going to work, this idea that I had, and um, took an hour to plumb everything else in, but the thing, once completed, I think looks absolutely awesome. And you can see here, um, it's blinking away, completely random. I'd have liked to have more LEDs if I'm honest, but um, as this is just uh, an, uh, putting an initial idea into practice, I think uh, six LEDs are enough, but I would like to get more in uh, more doubling up of um, LEDs in the in the larger bricks. But yeah, I think that looks really good, and the Lego bricks um, they fit really well with the overall theme, um, the feel of the uh, and look and feel of the of the handout. So there's a lot of wires behind my hand being hidden out of view. So I have to then start soldering up, uh, replacing the crocodile clip wires with tiny thinner wires. Lots of soldering and uh, yeah, a bit hit and miss my soldering, but I got there. I found that if I <laughs> solder something and then um, reinforce it with some hot glue, then um, it, um, it lasts a bit longer rather than just falling apart and breaking should I accidentally snag one of the wires. But yeah, it actually looks really good. Added a few sound effects uh, in the background, might have a little Bluetooth speaker running. Um, but yeah, brilliant. I love it at night when it's completely dark. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. That's incredible. And it's a really simple process. Um, so in the description, you've got the hex file for the micro bit that works the LEDs. And I've also got for download the, the 3D model that you can then download and print out yourself. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way my Ziggy handheld handlink has turned out. And yeah, hopefully I've inspired you to make your own.